You know, saying goodbye is never easy. Especially when you have someone who you've known for a very, very long time and life changes. Life changes, things change, and there's not really anything you can do about it. And I know it sounds like I'm talking about someone died, but no, no one died. Uh, just Moose Knuckle has decided to step back from YouTube full time. And also, I know there's going to be people down in the comments be like, Moose not actually leaving, he's just going to be uh, participating in less recording sessions. Yeah, I figured that. I heard them say that. But still, this is, you know, it's, it's literally a changing of, like, cha just symbol of, you know, times change. People change. And... <clears throat> As much as it hurts to know that we aren't going to have as many moments with the moon in the f future, we're still going to have moments. But it's awesome to look back on the times that you've had. And, uh, well, who better to look back on it with than to mouthy ass Irishman, who, you know, both, neither of them know when to shut the hell up, and both of them are experts at pissing off Moo to no end. Brian with his relentless trolling and Nogla with his just relentless assault on Moo with his stupid, stupid words. Because there was a game of Phasmophobia where Brian was giving Nogla shit about, uh, you know, marking down the wrong ghost. He's like, but that's not the ghost, Nogla. That's not the ghost. And then Nogla was just like, Shut up, Brian. You don't know what you're talking about. And then Moo was trying to play mediator. He was just like, Look, I think we should just wait. And we should discuss this. And then after we have more evidence, we should mark it down then. And then... Oh, that was me. Then all of a sudden, Nogla... <clears throat> docked Moo uh, points for that and like took a bunch of his stuff away and then Nogu was just like no and Nogu was like all right Moo I'm taking that away because you because you were talking shit about me the whole time it's like no I wasn't talking crap about you at all it was Terrorizer <clears throat> it was Brian who was talking crap about you me I was just trying to like say we needed to be calm about determining what kind of ghost it is. And then Nogla was just like, no, that's not what you said. No, that's not what you said. And then all of a sudden, Moo was just like, oh my God, Nogla, shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> to which, to which Nogla was just like, I'm going to make my editor go back and find that footage just so you know that you're wrong. And then as soon as he finishes saying that, Moo quits. Moo leaves the lobby and just like shuts phasmophobia down. <clears throat> and also, uh, they did go back in the footage, and turns out Moo wasn't talking shit about Nogla. But Nogla still was just like, oh, I should have kept his mouth shut. <laughs> Come on. No, I know. Nogla's never one to admit when he's wrong. He's just, he's just like, he's like, learn by doing. Just keep moving forward. Also, Aaliyah, bring me some chicken nuggets, please. It's like, Alia, the dog shit in the floor. Can't take care of that real quick. Oh God. So no good terrorizer react to Moo saying goodbye to YouTube. Also, Moo just had <clears throat> a stream recently where it was his last full time session with with the boys, and they played Mario Kart, and he got frustrated, which does happen. But, hey, it's, that's par for the course, I guess. Especially when you're playing against this asshole. And Brian. Oh, boy. Well, anyway. No good terrorizer react to Moose saying goodbye to YouTube. Let's uh, share it on the memories. And let's have some fun. Here we go. What do we say? <laughs> do you know what to say? No. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome. This is Brian and I reacting to... <laughs> 
moves. Retirement video. Ah, oh, gosh, gosh, this feels awful. Not my idea. But I did ask him privately, could we do this before doing it? Out of respect for him. And he, he graciously said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is your idea. Don't start acting all like right, that. All right, all right, Let's watch it. There's not much else to say. Yeah, let's just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few days. A lot of things to settle. We got a million views on it. Stepping away from YouTube full time. Whole bunch of likes. Very few dislikes. Honestly, very few moo haters, which is good. We have seen it before. We're just kind of professionally reacting to it. And Brian commented, love you, man. If you want to read this, you should do it in your voice. <laughs> Go on, Brian. I know this is probably the worst. <laughs> Go on, Brian. You can do it, Brian. Just think of a monthly check. Hey, man, I'm only commenting <laughs> this to look like a good person. I'm actually glad you're leaving. God damn, it's been a painful few years for you being a little soy boy. Can't wait to get you out of the group. Good luck. And Brock hearted that message. Would you believe? Yeah. Here's the thing with it. We commented on it as well. Or, and, uh, see, where's it at? Come on. Yeah, there's his final stream. I know, where's the stream? Ah, it's not up right now. But, yeah, I commented down here. It's like, love you, move. Do it. You need to in order to make yourself happy. Take care, and hopefully we'll see you down the line. And I only got one reply. Look at Douglas. Like, <laughs> 73,000 upvotes. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I'll just say this. I, uh, I'm going to miss Moo, but at the same time, I really wish he would have hearted my, uh, he would have hardened my thing. But because he's hardened a few other people down here. I know, it, well, there's Delirious, which is expected. There's Terrorizer. Maybe I should have donated money. Maybe that would have made him pay attention. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm just joking. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> got 35,000 likes, guys, and Brock hearted that message. But well, what Brian actually said was, he won't say it because he's too much of a soppy bitch. <laughs> You're a great guy. And this was hard to watch because we will miss you. I've been looking at my screen for 10 minutes trying to think of what to type, and I can't. I didn't know what to say. It was actually kind of hard. I was there like, what, like, what yeah, do no, you say? It's... He told us like a month before, maybe a month yes. and a bit. Yes. So we had an idea this was coming, but not until the video landed. You're like, oh, uh, shit. It, it, yeah, it is real. He, he announced it in the group chat about a, yeah, about a month ago. So we were kind of prepared, but at, when it happens, you're not really prepared at the same time. It's like there's only so much you can be ready for. But uh, you're the man. That's all I can think of. <laughs> After 10 minutes, he's like, all right, you're that, the man. <laughs> it's, you're the man. But it's, it's hard. It's hard. You're probably the worst person. Like when something really bad happens to someone else, you're probably the worst person to talk because you just won't know what to say. Thanks. I feel that. <laughs> okay. This is a hey, Brian. If if I ever meet, if I'm going to Pax East this year, and if you're up there, you don't really gotta say anything to me. I just like to shake your hand and just say, just say that mm, you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Also, also, I'd be. I'll I'll just say be like. Also, Brian. You you really aren't four foot six, like it says on the, like it says on the, all those websites. Because <laughs> that was the thing that was a joke for a while. It's like they were they were just like yeah, Nogla's six foot five, Tyler's six foot five, uh, Evans like f uh, six one, Brian four foot six. Because <laughs> they were just like there's like oh yeah he's the leprechaun of the group and he's like. Motherfuckers, I'm like 5'10. Stop <laughs> saying I'm 4'6. <four> like, <laughs> goddamn. It's like. <laughs> to me, that's the funniest part.
<laughs> All right. No, I don't know. But like when you watch the whole video, it's like what like what can you say? Oh well, it's been fun. Like what like what what do you say? Like when you're saying you're the man, it's like he's putting his family first. He's being yeah. the man of the house. Like it really takes a lot for someone that is based on a, a somewhat ego based career. For sure, yeah. You gotta swallow your pride and be like, What's best for my family? And putting your family and other people before you is a very uh it's it's admirable, very manly thing to do. You're the man. Since you're done yeah. <laughs> now let's let's read one say, let me read your one. Sorry guys, I have to make this about me. <laughs> Uh, it would be annoying to terrorize a react if we weren't in a, a silent competition. So, sorry. Oh, I'll read it, actually. Or do you want to read it in my voice? I feel like you'd have more fun that way. No, no, no. You do it. Sorry, guys. Oh, wait. Thank you, Brock, for the honor of, rag of the ragging on me. <laughs> I even typed one. Nice. Well wow. done. Edit. Of ragging on me one last time. Ha <laughs> ha. God bless you, your new job, and your family. What a great comment that is. <laughs> What a great guy I am. Someone's already looking oh, to yeah. replace me. Damn, dude. I'm just saying, I'm so great. I wish I could suck my own dick. <laughs> the grave ain't even yeah. fucking cold yet. And Joey's in there putting in my application to be Moose replacement as the awkward dad joke and say a PG member of the Van House group. <laughs> Look how well summed up he is in one sentence. <sighs> okay, um... <laughs> This is the hardest video I've ever made, and I haven't even started yet. I've got a joke. I thought your hardest video would be every other video that was with me. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> All right. Making about you again. You'll see why. Okay, so some of you may know that I got into YouTube because I sucked at Black Ops, and then I decided to make my own videos, but I never fully explained why. This probably isn't a big shock, but I've had pretty severe anxiety, especially social anxiety, my whole life, and I thought that making videos could be a way to branch out a bit to help get over it, or at least distract me from it. I will say, that sounds like nearly everyone in the group. I know for me, for sure, I hated going outside. Yeah, me too. Me too. No, 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 me no, no, no. Too. Actually, you were fine. I hated going out. No, you didn't. I hate talk with people, yeah. talk with, like, women. Beautiful Brazilian women in Dublin, Brian hated that. And I hated it, man. I had to okay. play yeah, video right. games to fulfill that void. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, fuck boy. Uh, according to what everyone says, Brian, in his 20s, or in his early 20s, he was a real fuck boy. <laughs> Alright, I guess I also had social anxiety when I started YouTube and I hated going out. I feel like, man, a few other members too. A few other members too, so Moo's not the only one. I think it's just you, bro. I think it's no, just no, you. No, 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 no. You don't think Evan has social anxiety? Um, yes. Definitely. Ev Definitely. I don't think before YouTube. You think YouTube give it to him? Yeah, I do. Because he's playing ice hockey or whatever, but then once the sense of not so much Oh, yes, fame, the camera, the eyes all on him. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll dig into that once Evan retires. Well, <clears throat> you see, when Evan did that, <clears throat> I think that's why, for a while, he tried to market himself as, like, the owl. And he didn't want to show his face. Because he wanted people to forget what he looked like. <clears throat> but this is the internet. And the internet never forgets. And we react to it. <laughs> In whatever that is. Ten years. In two months. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, I never expected to get anywhere close to where I am today. And I owe that to the awesome group of friends that I never planned on finding, but I'm so glad that I did. And saying that is going to make what I'm about to say even harder. But I'm stepping away from doing YouTube as a full-time job. And I'm sure you're probably wondering why. Who's pretty good at Rainbow Six, don't you think? Yeah, he's very good. I'm glad you ruined the... the this whole part of the video just to comment on Really? That. I was just watching his Rainbow Six footage and so on and so on. it's the same <laughs> thing when I was watching it. <laughs> it yeah. Like, it's kind of making me want to play Rainbow Six again. And then you remember, oh wait, it's Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, I like, oh, no. I like, I like wait, having fun when I play video games. Yeah. Moo's really good at Rainbow Six. This whole part, I'm so glad I met this group of friends. He's pretty good at Rainbow, isn't he? <laughs> pretty good at Rainbow Six. Jesus Christ. Hold on, no, it's all going to make sense. It'll all make sense for you in a second here. There is just Nogla. Yeah, great. Great, you ruined the punchline. Fantastic. Oh, I did ruin the punchline. Yeah, you did, Nogla. Did ruin his punchline. Oh, I did ruin it. I paused right in the middle of the punchline. Sorry, Brock. Sorry, Brock. Here we go. Go again. Probably wondering why... And um, pretty much the answer is just Nogla. 
All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> when I watched that, not with Nogla controlling the video, I actually cackled so hard. <laughs> it was so good. So you actually did laugh. You actually did yeah, laugh. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Yeah. I thought it was I hilarious as well. My reaction was like, that's son of a bitch. And then I was like, that's son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. The last part isn't true. Nogla is only a very small reason why I'm doing this. <laughs> that's not true either. Nogla's a great guy. And Nogla's a great guy. <laughs> Nogla, it, it, it paid him so much to just say that. Nogla's a great guy. He's like, it, you can almost hear him coughing up blood just, just from the pain of saying it. I'm only messing, guys. Dude, dude, the frog nearly climbed out his throat trying to say that. If there was any part of this video that Brock needed to retake, it was that part right there. That was probably his 12th take, that one there. Right, listen, <laughs> There's only a very small reason why I'm doing this. That's not true either. Nogla's a great guy. <laughs> yeah. I love we just it. Need, we just need to insert Pinocchio with his nose getting bigger. Right there. <laughs> Nogla's a great guy. <laughs> drag on him for the last little bit that I can. Thank you, Brock. Thank you. But there's a lot of reasons why I made this decision. And while I'm probably not going to go too deep into all of them, I do want to help you guys get an understanding so it doesn't feel like I'm just ditching you. So first off, my mental and physical health are in a very bad place right now. And I need to do some major <laughs> adjusting to get them where they need to be. Going off what I said earlier, I've always had anxiety and bouts of depression, but right now it's off the charts and YouTube is a big reason why. It's a job that I haven't had success balancing with my normal life and I feel like I always need to be online and active or I'm going to miss something. Dude, that's so true. The formal, the formal is crazy. It's so true. You're missing it's, out. it's horrible. Yeah. Every time you like plan a trip or something, like I'm going to Ireland, there's the new Modern Warfare fucking beta. <laughs> it's, it's, and you're just like, oh, like shit, no. dude, I would have loved to have been there for that session. It looks so fun and people are getting views and I'm not getting views and it's just like, like, oh man, ah, oh, dude, yeah, the FOMO is really, it actually takes a long time to get over that. You almost need something more important than the work, than the videos, than the group to be like, nah, it's fine, it's whatever. For me, because I'm sure move probably would say the same thing. Before having a kid, it's like, oh, who am I gonna hang out with? Like, I'm in another country, I'm not around my family or whatever, and friends are busy. You know what I mean? Like, you don't really have people to hang out with. But now that I have a family, I have a fiance and child, I'm like, those are the people I hang out with. It's like, oh yeah, the guys are playing? Yeah, that's perfect. Now I can hang out with my child and my fiance more and all that stuff, this is great. But before, it's like, there was no fiance, there was no child, and you were my friends and you were only online and you were recording. So it's like, I guess I'll go on country wall. <laughs> Go on, crunchy. That was literally it. <laughs> wow. I don't think you had that issue of no. the formal. You, because you no. actually had IRL friends. I, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I think why I haven't excelled on YouTube as much as the likes of you is because I've not cared about YouTube like throughout the years. You've definitely had more care and more focus on the, let's say, let's say FOMO, you know. Of yeah. Yeah. Knowing yeah. what's coming up. Whereas I'm, let's say, 50% of what you are, maybe even a little less. I'm, Oh, oh, this is right. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, Nogla is a fucking like giant. He's like six foot five, six foot six. If I ever met him in real life, I'd be like, be like, hey, Lurch, how's the weather up there? I'm like, when I go back to Ireland, I'm seeing my friends and family. And then, then YouTube is kind of third. Which, really speaking, is not the correct way to do it. <laughs> but I'm kind of yeah. happy being that way because when I'm older, I might have regretted it if I did it a different way. So that's just how I I do it. Moo kind of touches exactly what on your what you're saying. It's like some people are just happier throwing themselves into their work and staying there. And other people are like, nah, dude, I need to like balance and I need to have more IRL stuff, yada, yada. Yeah, it's easier for me when I'm in America because I don't have many friends here. Yeah. So I'm more work when I'm here. In Ireland, honestly, texting Brian, organizing with Brian, getting anything <laughs> done with Brian while he's in Ireland is is really bad. I'm out seeing the lads. Once you have him, he's in a better mood because he's actually socializing more. But mm. it's harder to get him. A lot of no- I feel that because where Chad moved away, you know, he's, where Chad lives so far away now, I miss that. I miss having like close, like weekly interactions with him, <clears throat> IRL. And I know we could we record videos and we do stuff online, 
That's all well and good, but I still miss chilling with my dude in real life. <clears throat> and you know, you know, me and Nick, where we do this as sort of a full-time thing, you know, we hang out a lot together, we discuss things together, and we're planning other stuff in the future together, you know, like a D&D or a our, you know, role-playing game campaign. And uh, I'm excited for that. <clears throat> but then also, uh, we have a music project that we're involved with, uh, Killbait Overdose, which uh, Nick plays keyboards. I, uh, I, I play guitar and bass. Well, more guitar, more bass than guitar, but I, it, I switch around. But, yeah. Needless to say, though, um, everything that, everything about me not being able to interact with, with part of my friend group now because people have moved away or just are too busy. It's like, I miss hanging out with Sophie and Chloe and I miss hanging out with uh, other family members of mine who I really was close with and everything, but that's just life, man. Life just moves on and there's not much you can do about it. Yeah, man, I just hang out with my two best friends like every single day. Yeah. Uh, Chance and Andrew. One of them moved to North Carolina and I only see him like once every couple of months. Usually not for very long. Yeah. The other one I lived semi close to so I'd still go hang out with him on a regular basis when we were in the mansion but like now that we've moved further away I don't really it's gotten go more difficult his house as much anymore because it's a lot of gas to go back and forth true true it's almost a total of like an hour gone from the day to drive there and back so Sad ass. we're definitely making this about us but hopefully <laughs> Hopefully, this just gives an insight that what Moo's going through isn't like an isolated problem. We all have our own versions of things behind the scenes as well. Yeah. Believe it or not, we are actually human beings that exist on your laptops and phones and really? stuff like that. We have our own oh. little first world oh. problems too. It's just, it hasn't been good for me lately. Uh, which leads me to my next point, even though it's a smaller one to be honest, but I really don't like where the internet is going, both with like YouTube and TikTok and social media in general with their super aggressive algorithms and all that crap. I agree 100% with them. All right, so I what Brock is kind of talking about here is how YouTube has evolved since let's say the beginning of his career versus now. In the beginning, Brock could upload like a three, four minute NoobTube montage and people would really like it and YouTube would actually send it to the algorithm. But now if he did a video just as good or better and it's because it's three or four minutes, YouTube won't want to push it. So YouTube is kind of through its algorithm forcing people to make longer videos. And Moo probably doesn't like that. And he probably doesn't like how to grow on YouTube. And Well, that's not been the case for some time because the eight minutes, or it was 10 minutes, then they lowered it to eight minutes. That's been in place for years and years. I think more what Moo's talking about is the overemphasis on shorts the overemphasis on shorts and just like how both youtube <clears throat> and tiktok do the exact same thing and it doesn't lend any credence for longer form videos to be pushed in the algorithm the same way that they were in the past i mean it's a changing paradigm and there's not really anything we can do about it but yeah, just, it's unfortunate, but I I really am worried in some ways about where the internet is going with its media consumption. And I really wish that YouTube would, would pull the reins back on pushing shorts so much and instead will just relent and push longer format videos again. But oh well. 
social media now you have to be on social media to know what people like and dislike and then hop on trends of different songs or memes and then create like short content all around that to get your name out there you know what i mean so it's like you have to do everything now to be a creator you have to do everything like really well and brock just wants to do one thing really well you have to stay tuned in and brock doesn't want to just exist on his phone and it becomes like a science and then it's not about having fun it's about a formula that you have to adhere by or conform to yeah. and i completely yeah. agree with everything that he said the internet has definitely changed society has definitely changed we've been doing this for what over 10 years now of course it's going to change it's all about adapting and evolving and the way it is right now is not great i'm not gonna at the end of my career which well, i don't know when it's going to be look back and go man i missed the 2020s <laughs> like, not at all it was 2014 to 2017 that area 2018 Peak, dude. Peak yeah. where things were yeah. just great people dude, yeah that i look back on 2014 when we got into making videos all the way up until about early 2019 dude it was a blast it was a blast. And then, you know, all the apocalypse stuff happened. All of the, uh, you know, all of the cancellations, stuff like that. Every YouTuber being put under a microscope. And then not only that, but also 2020 rolled around. The pandemic. And then after that, just, you know, inflation. Everything has just gone off the rails, man. And I, and I hate it. Mm -hmm. I truly hate it where we are right now as a society. People were accepting Just, certain kind of jokes. No matter what we did, we enjoyed as well. And now you're walking on eggshells when it comes to what you say. Now it's super catered towards audience retention rate and and ctr but more retention rate so youtube's like how long could you just keep people on my platform that's what youtube yeah. cares about it's not actual the level of happiness of the person watching it's kind of shitty but it is what it is youtube's literally adapt or die that's why sponsored videos will do poorly because it'll detect normally yeah. a link that'll redirect people off the platform and yeah. youtube the algorithm will punish that video Hence why if someone has a sponsored video, yep. they get much less views on it because the part of the algorithm will dictate, right, yeah. you're going to cause people to leave our platform. And it gets a lot less audience retention because people skip sponsorships. Exactly. So these are all factors that we have to deal with. And back then we didn't have to deal with that. Now it's just stressful. Yeah, I feel like it only started mattering in the past three years. And that's what Brock has like probably just really hated. Exhausted. Really hated the idea of adjusting to that and knowing what you should do, but not wanting to do it. But also gaming in general. Channels like Martin put a lot of extra effort into their sponsors to make them like funny and such. You know? Yeah, Martin, so internet historian. Like, like, skip through them. Yeah. It, you're doing yourself a disservice skipping the uh, sponsorships because of how inventive they are with it. Mm. And how sweaty and serious it's become. As he turns on a fucking dude and headshot. I, was about, I, I didn't want to comment that. <laughs> yeah. I did not want to comment that. How sweaty. And I'm like, bro, you're snapping on fools in this game. But also gaming in general. Um, <laughs> It's just so unenjoyable as I just could go an ace here. <laughs> as I drop down while flashed and kill the guy. Gaming this these days, people take it too seriously. This is how much of a dad Brock is. His name is Bluey.fan1297. And that's because it's these. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'm looking at my phone because Jake has been trying to send me the final cut of the film uh he fixed a lot of the stuff there was some stuff he couldn't fix because it's baked into the render and unfortunately there's only so much he can do and yeah he's trying to send me the final cut to uh just just to like make it to where i can see I can see what the hell, what the hell it's all about. Mm. Oh my god.
Bluey's daughter's favorite show. For Christmas, I bought Brock like Bluey toys. Ah, uh, wholesome. I think that's what Brock likes the most now is like spending time with his daughter and just having fun. Literally, yeah. you know he does because his name is Bluey. Bluey fan. <laughs> yeah. Probably watches it happily with him. Oh, all parents love watching Bluey. Aaliyah literally came to me one time after watching an episode of Bluey and she was crying and I was like, what's wrong? It's an episode of Bluey. <laughs> Oh my. Dude, Bluey's a deeper show than people give credit for. It's not just a, a stupid kid show. There is a lot of depth to that show. And, not, and it talks about serious stuff. Like, I haven't seen a... I haven't seen a show tackle miscarriages and problems with pregnancy. Like, a kid's show since Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And that's saying something, dude. And the fact that they put it in a way where kids can absorb it and understand it. It's just... Oh, such a great show. My God. It's bringing out the worst in people. And I feel like I want to be online less and less each day. And clearly that isn't really going to work with this job. Don't get me wrong, I still like playing video games, but most of it is the other stuff and the direction everything is going. Yeah. But the main reason I'm doing this is my family. And I could spend a long time explaining all of it, but pretty much, I feel like I'm letting him down right now. Oh, it's so hard to say, dude. That was yeah. the line that I was like, fuck, bro, yeah. That one, yeah, that one didn't hit me as hard because I can't connect with it. Yeah, I don't know, maybe do you feel like you're ever letting your dogs down when you get a 10 out of 10? <laughs> Let you down. No greenies this month, kids. Back oh. on the kibble, boys. <laughs> No, this one hit me. I think no matter what, as a dad, the dad guilt's gonna hit, gonna get you. It's gonna get you eventually. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And I think the dad guilt was probably killing him. So I related to this big time. I'm letting him down right now, and that's really hard to say. Mm. Um, since it's pretty common to have recording sessions pop up or fall through at a moment's notice, I work a mm -hmm. lot of unpredictable hours, and that's not fair to my wife. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. This is true. That's why me and Brian, we have a schedule now. Oh, yeah. We thought we now were, we do. Yeah, we, we were feeling it out. I, we were feeling I it demand, out. I demanded a schedule. Yeah, we eventually got there. <laughs> we were f See, that's something we need to work on is, <clears throat> and in terms of, uh, in terms of just like enabling us to make the most of our time, I feel like for I feel like for certain regards a schedule would be best for certain things. I would love to be on a schedule. Like I would love to have a schedule where recording ends by a certain time every night so I know exactly when and what time I can edit and yeah, I can basically set it for a t an amount of time on editing that is like more time than what it takes me to edit one episode. Therefore, I can be like, during this time to this time, I will be editing. And all the extra time I use there will be to get ahead. Know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than, like, never really knowing when we're going to start. Sometimes we start recording at, like, ass end hours of the morning and stuff. Yeah. And I got to be honest. But, like, the all the other stuff that you got going on, you would have to basically work around in order to stay on a schedule like that. Well, <clears throat> I promised myself that once the SCP film came out, that I would give myself a little bit of a break. And Kate and I have talked about doing meetings and trying to formulate a proper schedule where we can all record, get together, and just go. Like, start recording at this time be done by this time and the only time that there's overlap is if it's something that is necessary like the anime stuff I mean honestly I think that if you're going to set a time from A to B to record each night the, the first thing that gets done would be the thing that has to be done which is the anime when you start all yeah. the other extra time you fill with as much extra stuff as you can and then you cut it off whenever it goes past the time yeah yeah 
Like, if you don't have time to start another thing before it's the cutoff time, then you don't start anything else. You save it for the next day. Yeah. Feeling it out first, right? Oh, Brian, I'm, I'm taking a shit. This might take a while. I'll see you Yeah, hours. yeah, let's look. Man, never <laughs> rush a guy taking a shit, okay? Today I was taking a shit right in the middle of one. It wasn't a nice one. And Brian just texts me, hurry up. We're ready to record. <laughs> I mean, okay, I've, I've been on the toilet and I I have my phone sitting on the little windowsill thing up above me while I'm, while I'm like in the middle of doing my business. All of a sudden, I'll hear my phone go, Hey, mom. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just, I'm just sitting here. What's up? Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I can do that. What do you need it fixed by? Mm hmm Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. <laughs> I got you. Board of one. And for some reason, his sphincter yeah, goes, yeah. Oh, one, oh, one plum. Time to do my time. It's actually the most common reason for me being late to the gym as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's funny. I do be pooping funny. I work a lot of unpredictable hours, and that's not fair to my wife, and having her just drop everything to cater to, to my no, it schedule. Fair, it was and that on guy. top of that, yeah. I'm being a... You know, horrible example to both my kids in terms of the content and the videos I make and the focus I have with my job because even in the times that I'm not actually down in my office I'm still constantly thinking about work and pulling out my phone and it's it's not good and I feel horrible mm, about it I thought about this one too having a kid and growing up and seeing the content but then Mostly I also his video think about makes it me wonder like, if, like, did Brock just save up all of his best siege clips to put in his goodbye video or is he actually just always that cracked at siege I don't know. <laughs> really don't know. Finds me funny. <laughs> she finds me. She might. She, she definitely might. finds you funny. I say she definitely a, finds you funny. I say a joke, and I'm just like, will she laugh at that in 15 years? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it is definitely a really good point and something I consider. I did tone it down a bit. Swearing, I toned it down. I think the jokes got a bit darker. It's a really good point by Brock, and it's also something that I find like when I need to get like a thumbnail done, and mm -hmm. my daughter's trying to get my attention, but I, the thumbnail actress is like, "What do you think of this?" And I'm just like, uh, uh, you know, I'm kind of torn between the two. It kind of sucks. It, it's it's nice like to be able to cut things off so i changed my work personally to bring in like people that can handle that stuff like thumbnails and titles and i give direction and then i just know they can go do it you probably have something like that too right brian i zoned out <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine went. let's keep playing so what's next for me well it's not glamorous but i accepted a job with normal hours and a more predictable schedule where i can go to an actual building instead of my own house work mm. then come home That's and overrated. just be done with it so i can spend time with my family and help around the house mm -hmm. it's definitely not going to be as fun as getting to mess around well, in video games with my friends you, but, but it's something i can to some people that's some people that's all they could ever ask for i just i hate for me it's the fact that like when you travel to a job and then back from a job that's time out of your day that's being wasted that your company that you're working for is not fucking paying you for. Like, it irks me. And especially when I had to drive 45 minutes to and 45 minutes from a job. Like, it was yeah, an hour and a half of up. my day that I had to spend that I got zero compensation for every fucking time. I got pulled over on the way there one time. I could It could have been yeah. a lot of money out of my pocket if that cop hadn't have been nice and given me a warning instead of writing me a ticket, you know? can still be proud of yeah like, that's a I good point the idea of traveling to jobs just not my thing you know i like the idea that i don't have to drive to be at work here but i don't know i guess other people just don't like to have their work in their home area but it doesn't bother me 
when he said going out of the building that's a super important point like it, it kind of goes a little like understated because if you don't know but it's like he records in his basement i'm sure brock's like me where if he's recording and there's like trouble let's say upstairs let's say one of the kids is having a really bad tantrum or maybe they had a really bad accident or lanae's being a bitch yeah maybe lanae's just yeah, like, you know what brian right. said if you're if you're working <laughs> and you're hearing that you're gonna want to go you want to step up and you want to go help your kid it's literally just your instincts i noticed my in myself quite a lot in ireland i have an office that's like outside in its own little building and so when i would work in there i'd be far more tuned in and i wouldn't like be worried as much about what's going on in the house or whatever you know elia has got to cover but here in america we're in the same building and the walls kind of thin and everything like that so it's it's like if i hear something and it sounds like a bad cry i'm just gone bro i'm literally just getting up and i'm just like god i gotta go do something so yeah i'm sure brock has experienced that a lot where he's wanted to do that i've had this channel for 12 years i'm pretty sure maybe even 13 12 and a half, let's say 12 and a half so i'm having a real hard time seeing myself just completely walking away from it right now the plan is to still record a video or two when i have some time and i also have some old videos that i never uploaded that i'm sure will finally have their time in the sun as well as some spare parts clips that i need to compile and make a video or two out of so pretty much i'm not going away i just won't be around as much wow what do you think what do you think of that one right i think brock is using two smurf accounts <laughs> yeah moves washed <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed the reason why he's using Bluey fan is because he's played with the main Moo one with the guys that has put him in these really tough lobbies for skill-based matchmaking that I think he has these two accounts to just dick on people. Oh, uh, yeah. This is how Moo relaxes. Mm. Sorry, he's sorry. He's insanely good sorry. at Rainbow Six and gets the smart accounts and shits on people. <laughs> yeah, so Moo is one of the main reasons that I don't fucking like playing that game anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Moo. Like, yeah, that's actually Wait great. a second. That's amazing. <laughs> so what did he say? I don't remember anymore now. <laughs> I, I don't remember. Sorry. Dude. I don't Brock, remember. I am so sorry. I bet she's watching this going, I'm not going to miss these guys at all. <laughs> not these two Irish bollocks. There's no way. <laughs> so Brian, what do you think? I think he's using two Smurf accounts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fucking funny. Uh, sorry. I'm also not starting my new job for another week. So I'm going to try to get a lot recorded and I definitely want to do one last stream as well to give a proper goodbye to everyone. Yeah, Mario Kart stream. Go over to it. Make sure you're subscribed, guys. I just want to say thank you to everyone that has supported me in this channel over the years, whether it's from watching, subbing, liking, donating. And I especially want to say thank you to all the mods that have helped. I really do appreciate all of you. And I consider myself extremely fortunate to have had this as my job for as long as I have. Um, but I'm not gonna keep you any longer. Oh man. So as always, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Happy yeah. ending. I hope you enjoyed. He got that outro from me, guys. He got that he kinda did he kinda did a little Nogla voice at the end. <laughs> I'm secretly his favorite. He likes me. <laughs> he really, really likes me. Check the group chat. Uh yeah, can we all play tomorrow? And my last wish is Nogla's not there. <laughs> No, you said that. You were yeah, like, I, I won't be I there, know. too. You're I'm like, oh, here we go. Who goes in the chat when I goes, games tomorrow? He goes, yeah. You need one last Vanus Palooza. He goes, whatever you want, man. I'll even skip. <laughs> Guys, make sure you're subscribed for his last ever stream. And he True. needs to make he make that bank. Send yeah, him off. Make, send him off. Give him a good send off. Give him yeah. a little good pension plan there. We put in pro, pro, something pretty funny in the group chat yesterday as well. I won't read it exactly, but he basically said, uh, you know that new video I uploaded? It got 14k new subs from it. Someone make it make sense. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Hey guys, I'm leaving YouTube. Oh, I'm subscribing to this guy. <laughs> now, what did I say? <laughs> Next video, I'm back. <laughs> Psych. Yeah. <Moose>. No. Psych. <laughs> hey guys, uh, so uh, it'd be more like I'll have to subscribe now, so I'll know if he comes back. Yeah. Sometimes it's weird how that works.
I just saw I'm now trending and this is the most viewed video in the longest time. I really hope Brock put ads on that video. I hope he put ads on it. Well, I'm putting ads on my retirement. God damn. Seeing this <laughs> video's performance here, I might retire next week. It is insane. <laughs> but he actually had some tweets as well. This was one of the tweets he did recently. It's pretty cool having a video be one out of 10 and hit 10. It actually hit number eight on my phone on trending on YouTube, which I've never had happen before. But then I remember what the video was to get bumped. Out. Yeah. This is like such a funny, sad <laughs> tweet, bro. The internet is annoying. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. You don't know what you got till it's gone, yeah, guys. Don't know what you got till it's, it's gone. gone. But seriously, thank you for the love. This is this is Moo's final response on it. For the love of my video, it's taken me a while to say that because it's still processing that it's actually happening. And I'm blown away by the support from everyone and I really don't know what to say. And needless to say, I replied, can I react to this tweet for a one out of 10 too? Jesus. And here we are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everyone's like, love you, bro. We'll miss you, man. Can I react to this for a one out of 10? <laughs> Shameless. <laughs> oh, dude, look, that's what Moo hates on YouTube and what I hate too, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, that's a good video, Brian. What's your name? Yeah, it's a sad one, but as retirement videos go, I think Brock had a banger. It was nicely worded and everything. He spoke very well, very clearly, got his points across, and I think it was a very, very good job. So, thumbs up. Play You're the man. Very good scene the he is the man. Yes. Yes. Hit the end of the video, like, subscribe, and all the good stuff to you. So yeah, Moo is officially done as a full-time YouTuber. Sucks that he's leaving, but he's doing it for the right reasons. I agree. <clears throat> and I'm hoping we'll still see him around on occasion. So. Yeah. Also, I don't blame him for retiring the way that he is. I mean, honestly, I'd do anything I could to get away from Nova. And I think that's what Moo's doing. Moo's just like... I need to put as much distance between me and Nogla as possible. All right, number one, I'm retiring. Number two, I'm moving to Tahiti. And number three, Nogla, if you come near the island, I will sink your ship. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> so that was Nogla and Terrorizer react to Moose saying goodbye on YouTube. Uh, if you enjoyed and you want to see more from Nogla and Terrorizer, hey, click their name in the title of the video. And until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.